We used was used to take Holy Communion every day because God granted them revelational knowledge of the healing ingredients of Holy Communion. And he lived for 87 years. In fact, he did not even die like other men. He went to see his friend and was preaching for his friend when the friend died. I, and he said to God, I'm older than this man. How can he go to heaven before me? Take my life. Right in the church. And God honored his prayer and called him home. But for 87 years, he looked young. He had this youthful look and had a lot of energy and strength. If we have time this night, I can bring it from the Bible to show you that the Holy Communion Jesus served was no special bread. They were already eating when he took one of the loaves and gave it. They did not go to Sheraton to buy loaf of bread and, and communion drink. They were already eating when he brought out an ordinary bread. And I want to announce, you can have communion in your own house. Alone. No, you didn't hear me. I, I, said, I didn't say hello, I said alone, alone. Because you are the priest of your house. You are the priest of your house. And therefore you can save yourself holy communion and members of your family. And this awesomely awesome God I preach will honor that exercise. But don't do what some of our brothers have been doing. Don't, don't take Holy Communion with the biggest cup anybody can find in New York. It shows you are greedy. It is not the size, but your faith. The last communion service we had here, I was shocked and put came with uh, jobs. In broken English, we we'll call you longer throat man. Buy something small and unique. Something I would like to pray over. And to become a dedicated, consecrated cup. When you have any, if you had a bad dream, wake up and have that communion. If you are attacked by the enemy in any way, wake up and have that communion. Right in the, in the hollow of your room, in the presence of your God, Jesus said, as many times as you remember me, do this in remembrance of me. It is one of the packages of power God has made available to us. And we must use it to the fullest. Are you still here? Can you raise your hand and shout hallelujah at somebody? Jesus said, I am the living bread. Read on. Which came down from heaven? Let me have the if, towel. Yes, sir. If, go. Any, if any man eats of this bread, if anybody eat, if any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. Can you do me a favor? Say to two persons, if you eat of the holy communion, you will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. Is my flesh. Which I will give for the life of the world. I will give it for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves <laughs> saying. The Jews got angry, got agitated. How can this man How give, can us, this his man give us his flesh to his eat? Flesh to eat? And Jesus said you see what to ignorance me. can do to a man? He didn't understand what 
Jesus was talking about. I don't know whether you know that the book of Exodus chapter 12 where the Passover the, the Passover package where it started it ended in Jesus giving his own blood. Remember they were required to slaughter a lamb and sprinkle the blood on the three corners of the door. The top, the two sides. If you pick your chalk and draw a line across those three points, what do you have? The cross. What started in Exodus 2012 was completed when Jesus gave this bread and gave the wine, gave his flesh and his blood. Remember, God promised Israel that when the angel of destruction shall see the blood, he will pass over you. By that time, announcing tonight that death has no business entering into your house. By this one act of God and by your faith in this great God, your children shall be protected from premature death. Amen. Let's see the book of Exodus chapter 23, verse 25 through 26. What does it say? And ye shall serve the Lord your God. You will serve the Lord your God. And he shall bless thy bread. I don't know whether our choristers know when you sing from the choir, you are serving the Lord. When you give your offering, you are serving the Lord. I don't know who brought these new seeds. Whoever brought the seeds is serving the Lord. When God speaks to you as to what you can do to make his heart beautiful and you do it, when you win souls for Christ, when you help to expand the kingdom of God, you are serving God. And there's a promise we must claim tonight. God says you bless your bread and your water. What does that mean? It means to have all round success. Raise your hand and prophesy over yourself and say, I shall have all round success. Number two, you have sweatless success. There are people who don't struggle to succeed. But I want to announce that struggling in life shows the absence of the presence and the peculiar concentrated presence of God upon you. But it is, it, it is an anomaly. It should not be. For Jesus said, Lo, I am what? With you. The redeemed presence of God that follows us about. And that presence mocks everything and anything that mocks us. And beginning tonight, if it had not started in your life, it shall now start. Yeah. <laughs> when they threatened to send rain and sack us from last week's program, we spoke from this altar. That for two months there will be no rain in that area. Jesus, Edio to a con me. In Yedia did a mobile. In Yedia did a nino. Yanini no ye ito ro. Jesus, Jesus, Edio to a con me. Enye di e di de mubo Enye di yande yang ame Yagini noye ituro Jesus said di e tu e kongi Enye di e di de mubo Hallelujah Enye di yande yang ame Yagini noye ituro Jesus 
Jesus said yo to wake on ye Enye di ye di de move Enye di yan di yan ame Yak ye di no ye ito ro And drinketh my blood. Has eternal life. Has eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last. I will raise day. him up at the last for, day. For my flesh is meat in For thee. my flesh is meat indeed. And my blood is drink indeed. My blood is drink indeed. I hope you will ask God. To grant you understanding of what we are reading. That you may have mastery over sickness. I don't know whether you, have, whether you know anybody of the faith tabernacle. They don't take drugs. And they're hardly sick. God who has honored them over the years. Is our God. Men and brethren, I don't know anything as important as your health. 
is the most important thing in every man's life. And God has invested in it. Therefore, raise your hand and say, I shall enjoy good health. Even if you have not begun to enjoy it, you will enjoy it one day, one day, one day, one day. And it starts this night. It starts this night. It starts this night. We, we have a covenant of longevity. A covenant with God to live long. It's your place to defend it and to fight for it. Once your health collapses, everything around you will collapse. I don't know whether you know there's a type of ill health you will get that will carry you out of your house and take you to the hospital. You will not return <laughs> unless you improve your health. I don't know if you know that sickness can take away appetite from you. You will watch food and not have the desire to eat. I don't know whether you know that sickness can stop you from sleeping. I don't know if you know that sickness can stop you from walking and bouncing. This night, I'm going to ask God to take five minutes, everybody. Ask God every sickness that has a name. That is in my body or in my family. That is attacking any member of my family. Shall this night be banished? Yeah. And there are seven persons here who are laboring under a threat. Something tells them. Somebody has spoken to them that they will soon die. Tonight we shall banish that premature death. Yeah. Can we all stand up, everybody? Stand up and speak against every form of sickness in your family in your body everybody open your mouth and talk to God
in Jesus' name. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey!
Father, you spoke to me about seven persons that the spirit of death hovers around them. And even now knocks on their door. And by the blood of the new covenant and your flesh which was given to us, no spirit of death is allowed to enter into our homes. For this communion is a prophetic meal of the New Testament. The ratification of that which started in Egypt. That as we walk through life, the angel of destruction shall not come near us. And there are people that are sick because the enemy has a plan to make them doubt and question the inerrancy of your word to their demand. Those seven persons, wherever they are standing now, let angels be appointed to stand beside them. Let the yoke of sickness the yoke of premature death, the yoke of affliction, be broken. Father, there are seven in number. They will not go back the same. That load the enemy has placed upon them over time, they will not carry it again. And Father, because every sickness is a spirit, let your spirit therefore arrest every spirit of sickness. In every home, in every family, because of the blood of the lamp at the door of your people's homes, the enemy shall pass over those doors. But Father, arise those seven persons on behalf of their families. I ask you to arise and set them free, 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 and set them free. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. That's number one. Number two, number three, number four, number four, number four, number four, remaining three. Father, there are three more persons. Any name holding those three? Any witch holding those three. Any wizard holding those three. Any principality holding those three. I demand shall hold them. How many do we have? Five. Huh? Remaining two. Every movement in the body. Every pain in the body. Every ulcer, every hernia, every HIV, the whole power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. That's number, number six, number seven. Can I hear a better clap off from somebody?
Amen. Take your seat. I don't know whether there's anybody that feels happy to hear God speak to your needs and speak to your fear and speak to the attack of the enemy in your life and family. To come to a program like this and have God address your problem, speak to your problem, speak to your situation. Don't have anybody who feels happy about it. That you are remembered every day by God. That he will never forget you, nor will he, nor will he ignore you. When you cry, he sees your tears. When people mock you, he hears their mockery. And he will demonstrate his power on your behalf. And that's what he had done this night. Let's give him one more clap up from somebody. Amen. If you're here and you don't seem to know Jesus personally, you don't seem to know him intimately, and your heart desire is to know him, you want him to become real to you. You want to give your life to him. You want to live for him all the days of your life. You want him to start one man school for you and teach you the secrets of success. You want God to open your ears because you prospered by instruction. You would like him to instruct you. You also would like him to grant you revelational and prophetic and insightful knowledge of the world. You will not just hear as others hear. He will grant you deeper meaning of the things you hear. You want to give your life to Christ and you want to live for him. Can you please stand up and step out here? I want to pray for you quickly. You're here. You don't seem to enjoy your walk with God. Today your prayer is, Father, come into my heart as my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer. I, I want to know you. Can you come? Come quickly. I want to pray for you. Yes? Give him a good clap of as he comes. All of you, can you raise up your, you have come, stepped up, can you raise up your hand and repeat up to me? Somebody tell them, you, 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 come, raise up your hand, raise up your hand, your hand, and repeat up to me, say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart as my Lord, my Redeemer. On the cross of Calvary, you died for me. I now promise to live for you. I shall obey you. At all costs, at any time. Write my name in the book of life and grant me the assurance of my salvation, the joy of my salvation. Put your mark upon my forehead and declare me yours. Father, hear me, for I ask in Jesus' name. Can the church say amen? Father, may you become real to every one of them. Wherever they will go, may they go in the consciousness of your presence. And may your peculiar concentrated presence rest upon them and mock anything that shall ever mock them. Wherever they go, Father, go with them. You promised them each an angel. Therefore, let angels be assigned to each of them to fight for them. 
to turn obstacles into miracles. To speak against anything that speaks against them. And confirm whatever confronts them. Father, I demand and declare that the enemy shall not stop them where he stopped their parents. That each of them shall become the main man of the family they come from. It shall be so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Give them a good clap of them. Attend to them quickly. Attend to them quickly. Come, come, don't go. Tomorrow by five o'clock, any man that shall be a wise man must be a merchant of knowledge. One of our senior pastors will be there tomorrow to teach you the secrets of victory and success. It will not last long. You come and join others. Come, that lady going. I'm speaking to you and you're walking away. Are you from where? We want to prepare you for greatness. We want to prepare you to be God's ambassador in your village and your family. To be a representative of the government of God in heaven. Beginning tonight, you are no longer an ordinary person. You are now ex an extraordinary person. Let him fill that form, give it back to our counselors. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Give them one more clap of hands to go back to their seats. I don't know whether you know the only way to express love is by giving. The Bible says, and God so loved the world that did what he gave. God has commanded us to build buildings that will honor his name. He has also commanded us to build a hall for our children where they can go and study without any distraction from us. We have been commanded also by God to build a school. Even though we are struggling, but the young shall grow one day. I'm going to ask her to give an offering. And what is Dr. Oyanga? Is he here? When will we receive the account of the money we give? Please, give us the account next week. There's no way the money goes into. Please. Oh, what, help me. I want to kick off the giving tonight by planting a seed offering of 100,000 Naira. There is no prosperity without giving. When you eat Okwogo, well, when I speak of Okwogo, not every Okwogo, you know, over the last week, they gave me Okwogo that almost made me declare fast. It was neither here nor there. <laughs> when you eat good Okwogo, you must go to the toilet and pay your tithe and your offering. Or else sickness will follow you. All those who can give to God special offering of thanksgiving. That God has interest in taking away your sickness from you. I was on television for 30 years. 20 of those 30 years was sponsored by a man here in New York with us. He said to me, Reverend, God had taken away my sickness. The money I used to spend in buying drugs, I'll give it to you to pay for the eight time. I was the first man to buy eight time east of the Niger. That God that took somebody's sickness will take your own away also. All those who can give from 100,000 to 50,000 to 20,000, to 1,000. Stand up. 
And let it be a seed faith offering that shall activate every promise God has made to you. A reminder before God of all the promises He has made you. Can you stand up quickly? You can, if you cannot give 100,000, you can give 1,000. If you can't give 1,000, you can give 500 naira. If you can't give 500, you can give 100. If you can't give 100, leave Uyo and relocate back to your village. Every one of us must give tonight. God had done something awesome. As I was speaking to you about the healing power of God and the power against premature death, I was excited. I was excited. And I want to announce one more time. You will not die like an ordinary person. Yeah. No, raise your hand and prophesy over yourself and say, I shall not die like an ordinary person. Now, look around you. Those who are still sitting down, can you put a smile upon their lips by giving them offering? The Bible says, give, and it shall be given unto you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken and running over. Shall, shall your destiny help us give you? Look around. Find somebody you can put 100 naira in his or her hand. And bless somebody. You might be a blessing to somebody. When you get what you can and you can what you get and sit on the can, you have entered into a covenant of poverty. Let's have Pastor Siena Bon come and bless uh, all those who have an offering in their hands. Even those who do not have, they cannot be part of our fellowship and age as poor people. They cannot be part of our fellowship and be tenants. They cannot be part of our fellowship and be walking about. Everyone shall have the means of mobility. If you can't buy a car, you can buy a keke. If you can't buy a keke, you can buy a bicycle. If you can't buy a bus, you can buy um, a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Raise up your hand. This man who is sitting down, somebody put an offering in his hand. I'm sure he's here for the first time. Put money in his hand. I was expecting a girl to give him that money. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for the privilege to be a partner with you in this work that you have given unto us. 
Thank you, everlasting God, for you are the giver of all things. Thank you, Lord, for the grace that is in Christ Jesus. That though he was rich, he became poor. That we, through his poverty, may become rich. Thank you, Lord, for the covenant of your word. That you are able to make all grace abound unto us. That we always having all sufficiency in all things may abound unto every good work. Today, Lord, every hand that is raised unto you, I ask God that they shall receive the grace of all sufficiency. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. That everyone here, Lord, shall come to a place of always having all sufficiency. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The hands that shall be stretched out to give for your kingdom yes. shall not stretch out to beg, Amen. shall not stretch out to borrow. Amen. May that grace of all sufficiency overtake your people Amen. beginning this moment. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's have Pastor Joe lead us to the offering um, box.
mark of a believer is his or her happiness. When he sings, there will be a measure of exuberance and excitement. I have keys to three houses and to two cars and to one shop. You are next in line to have such miracle. Father, as I hold these keys, let it be a reminder to everyone here that someday, one day, each one shall have a roof over his head. Each one shall have the means of mobility. Father, will not age as tenants. I dedicate these houses, the cars, the shop unto you. And I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Every voice that speaks in these vehicles, in these houses, shall speak no more. Let each one be a blessing. That is the purpose for which you have given them. All those who are asking you to send their own miracles to them, let the miracle start this night. But help us to walk worthy of our calling. Don't allow us to be like unbelievers. Even the way we think. We must not sit in the seat of discomfort. Or stand in the ways of sinners. May we take delight in your word. And ponder over your word. And meditate upon your word. And have an encounter with the living word of thine in the presence of the living spirit of yours every morning to do business with you. None shall be an ordinary person. Therefore increase our creativity and our imagination. When we look at what others look at, may we see what they will never see. Father, with the blood of the lamp already by our door, let no sickness enter into our homes. Let no spirit of death enter into our homes. The, the understanding you gave Smith Wigglesworth that made him have mastery over sicknesses and diseases give it to every one of us he lived in the consciousness of the ability to heal and may we come into that understanding may we not be like idiots who hear and cannot understand father what you did for our fathers from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob to Moses. Do it for us also. For we are the spiritual Israelites of today. Build a wall of fire run about us. No witch, no wizard shall locate us. And when our enemies meet us, may they know we are not ordinary people. I declare each one a soldier of the cross, a merchant of knowledge. Bless us with wisdom. For I ask in Jesus' name. We have agreed to give up our dinner from today till Wednesday next week. Ask God to grant you a, mas a mastery of our sickness and diseases. And let what I have taught today, which I will amplify next Wednesday, be real to you and meaningful to you. 
should become part of your belief. I said you become what you believe. And I want you to take along with you the provision for good health in the Bible and ask God for faith to believe that which God had done for you. Raise up your hand. Tell God what he must do for you next week and then our chairman will come and dismiss us. Continue to thank God for what he has done this evening. Thank him for the opportunity to be in this atmosphere. Pray that the Lord make this word be permanent in your spirit. That it might germinate and manifest wonderful fruits. Ask God to sustain your life this week. To take you through the rest of the week. Ask God to give you journey mercies as you leave this place tonight. Even as you sleep, ask him to watch over your bedside. Ask him also at the appointed time tomorrow morning to wake you up still in the land of the living. That it might send you on your way, that you might continue on this Christian journey. Father, we thank you for such a glorious opportunity. Thank you for such a wonderful fellowship. And Father, we bless your name for what you had predestined for us to receive tonight. We have received it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us say the benediction. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. Tell somebody, God bless you and good night. Please, Agnes F. Young, Agnes F. Young, Christiana Bonanza, Uruar F. Young, Omo, and Ma Josephine Okbok. If you are here, please come up to the front. You are needed, uh, you needed by the Welfare Committee. Agnes F. Young, Christiana Bonanza, Uruak F. Young, Omo, and Ma Josephine Okbok. Please, come up front. It is extremely necessary that you come up front. Agnes F. Young, Christiana Bonanza, Uruak F. Young, Omo, and Ma Josephine Okbok.